so we know the treble clef is used by high-pitched instruments like the violin, flute and the upper half of the piano. But some instruments play low sounds, the cello, the double bass and the lower half of the piano, amongst others. Because of their low pitch, low sounding instruments use a different clef, the bass clef. Also known as the F clef, the bass clef tells us what each of the lines and spaces are called. And just like the treble clef, the bass clef comes with its own set of catchy rhymes to help us read the notes. For bass clef notes that are on the lines, we can use the rhyme Granny Bakes Donuts for Alice. And for bass clef notes that are in the spaces, we can use Angry Crocodile Eats George. Or whatever rhymes your teacher has taught you. Got it? Cool! Let's do some examples. What's the pitch name of this note? Well, it's on a line. So we can use the Granny Bakes Donuts for Alice rhyme. Starting at the bottom line, we say Granny Bakes Donuts. D for donuts, so our note is called D. Let's do another one. This time the note is in a space. So we can use the Angry Crocodile Eats George rhyme. Again, starting at the bottom, we say Angry Crocodile Eats George. G for George, so you guessed it, our note is called G. And that is all there is to it. Super easy. Music quiz! The pitch names of these four notes will spell out a word. Use the rhymes and let me know in the comments below what you think that word is. Happy music theorying everyone! So we've learnt that music has long and short sounds. But I'm sure you're aware that music also has higher and lower sounds. The pitch of a note tells us how high or low the time signature. Those two numbers at the beginning of the piece tell us how many beats or counts will be between one bar line and the next. We divide things up like this because it makes the music way easier to read. No bar lines equals mega confusion.